She came by to check us out, and unfortunately, she got shot because the way we were treating the God's messenger. I'm quoting from Quran, the verses 6 8. It says, They also said, If only an angel would come down with him, had we sent an angel, the whole matter would have been terminated, and they would not have been respited. 6, chapter 6, verse 9 says, Had we sent an angel, we would have sent him in the form of a man, and we would have kept them confused. 4353 and 650 says the same thing. Say, I do not say to you that I possess the treasures of God, nor do I know the future, nor do I say to you that I am an angel. I simply follow what is revealed to me, Say it is the blind, the same as the seer. You do not think. 6158 says, Are they waiting for the angels to come to them, for your Lord, or your or some manifestations of your Lord? The day this happens, no soul will benefit from believing, if it did not believe before them. So keep on waiting, we too will wait. Are they waiting for an, uh, are they waiting until God comes down to them? In dense clouds with angels, the whole matter will then be terminated and the God, mm, and to God everything will be reset. They are waiting for the angels, 633, they are waiting for the angels to come to them or until your Lord's judgment comes to pass. Those before them is the same thing, God is not the one who wants them, they are the ones who want themselves. 11.12 You may tend to disregard some of the, some of that which is revealed to you, and you may be annoyed by it when they say, How come no treasures come down to him or an angel? You are only a warner, God controls all things. 15.7 says, Why do you not bring down the angels, if you are truthful? 15.8 says, You do not send down the angels except for a specific purpose. Otherwise, no one will be inspired. 17.92 says, For unless you cause masses from the sky to fall on us, as you claim, or unless you bring God and the angels before our eyes. 17.95 says, if the earth were inhabited by angels, we could have sent down to them from the sky an angel messenger. 25.22 The day they see the angels, it will not be good news for the guilty. They will say, we are universally confused. 43.60 If we will, we could have made you an angel colonizing the earth. <coughs> I wish the God that among us there would be anyone that would not believe in God's messenger because God's messenger, alhamdulillah, is live and well among us and we just have to obey. And constantly in Quran repeated, you have to believe in God and obey his messenger. Right after the God comes the word of messenger. You have to follow the messenger. <coughs> Excuse me. Obey the messenger. Now, uh, a couple of weeks ago, our uh, brother Moteshan talked about the responsibility, but today, God willing, I'm going to specify our responsibility, which is God will that the time we are in this world now. And believe me, anything happened in this budget, I have seen it in my own eyes. Just last week, in the computer room, Dr. Khalifa was writing the new perspective, and there was a word. We would not go to the computer. That was not God's will. It took some time, either it was shorter or a long. 
And it took some time to explain to the company, and that was God's will, Alhamdulillah. So anything happening over here, Alhamdulillah, it's just like God is looking at us, all of us, right in here, and it's a very, very crucial moment. Now, uh, so we have to obey this responsibility. Now, God is telling us how to fulfill this responsibility to God on that occasion. We shall not argue with the messenger. There is no way whatsoever we can argue with the messenger. That's the, are you arguing with the word of God, with God's messenger. And when a verse says that uh, after, if you die before age of 40, you go to heaven, that's it. We cannot ask him why. If you have any problems, you can ask God. Because his job is to just deliver the message. 633 says, we know that you may sadden by what they say. You should know that it is not you that they reject. It is God's revelation that the wicked disregard it. Uh, unfortunately, last week, that is fortunate actually, uh, Dr. Shantara came from uh, San Francisco and uh, she was, she is a beautiful, mashallah, a very, very strong believer. If she was not, she would have left the message, matches because uh, she actually said it herself that I'm confused the way we were treating the messenger. We cannot have any opinion or any suggestion. It's just the word of God. And uh, if you all remember the story of uh, Moses and his teacher, he keeps interrupting him. Why did you kill that? Why did you take the made a hole in the ship. We, we are not supposed to ask these questions. When the right time comes, we will find out ourselves, inshallah. 49 one says, O you who believe, do not place your opinion above that of God and His message. You should reverence God. God is here on mission. The reason is because we might have the message. 961 says, He is a mercy for those among you who believe. Those who heard God's messenger have incurred the painful retribution. 3357 says, Surely those who insult God and His messenger, God condemns them in this life and the hereafter. 3369, O oh, you who believe, do not be like those who heard Moses. God absolved him of what they said. He was in the sight of God honorable. 61 5 says, Recall that Moses said to his people, O oh my people, why do you hurt me, even though you know that I am God's messenger? When they diverted God, when they deviated, God diverted their heart, for God does not like the wicked people. All you who believe, 41 2, do not raise your voice above the voice of the prophet, nor shall you shout at him as you shout at each other. Lest your words become nullified while you do not proceed. Surely those who lower, this is 49 3, who lower their voices at the messenger of God are the ones whose hearts are prepared by God to become righteousness. They deserve forgiveness and great recompense. 49.4 As for those who call on you from outside, outside the wall, most of them do not understand. We cannot call Dr. Khalifa, come over here, we want to go, let's do the prayer. We cannot do that. This is, it doesn't bother him personally, but this is, it's going to nullify our, our work, whatever we have done. God says on 49.5, had they been patient until you come out to them, they would have been there for them. God is forgiven most merciful. As for any communities, this community we have to have the discipline. Discipline according to the God's law that we have to follow. 
Now, uh, I'm just going to give you an example. That is, hot soil example is the, probably the human and devil kingdom, but you cannot and you will not call President Bush by his first name. Have you seen anyone call him by his first name? If he was here right now with us, he would wear all the suits and ties. He has millions of bodyguards and you become sitting just like that. Now, but messenger is a position that God is given. And this is the highest point position in this world. And we have to follow God's word. God called him messenger. For the newcomers, they come outside, they see us, we have a Friday classes. When they leave, they don't know who was the messenger, who was the student, who was the teacher. Everybody is laying down, some people are sleeping. Please, we have to cut this off because this is against God's law, against God's rule. Please, over here, this side of this door is very formal. When you go outside and you go inside to Rasulullah, just call him Kashar, whatever you want to have a friend. But when we are here, in this side of the road, please let, let us be example for the newcomers. We don't want someone as a reporter come over here, they call him Rasulullah, and then we call him Kashar. Don't you feel funny? And if someone coming from outside, they tell us what you tell him. Now God already called him Rasulullah. God position him as a Rasulullah. So we have to, I mean, this is up to everybody, whatever they want to do, think about it, but this is God's rule, this is God's law, this is the rule we should have among us. This is a very, very crucial moment that we have to take heed and understand it. We are so busy with the miracle of 19, we forgot the small things over here. And one is, please, we can call him uh, Rasulullah, Mr. Khalifa, Dr. Khalifa, please, when you are having a study group, don't, don't call by the first name. First name is me, or you, or others, but he is Rasulullah. God is teaching us everything, also the, even the manner, how to treat each other and Rasulullah, the messenger. Last conference, that was my first conference. I didn't know many people. I only knew Dr. Khalifa and Susan, Lisa, and a few other people because of my last visit to a couple of days. At the time of conference, I was sitting on the right hand side facing the uh, microphone. I was leaning to the bookshelf. And uh, I was watching the whole group. It was a gentleman among us. He would not leave the meeting. He would not come in unless Dr. Khalifa turned to him for accident to see him. He said, can I go? And he would go. And that gentleman was Sammy. That is his son. And we all I just have to thank you. This is the thing that every one of us, we have to know this, is to learn. We have to learn this system. This is as mine and all of you, I'm sure, is the first messenger. We do not know how to treat. And the uh, last time I, I probably said something wrong and uh, I called uh, Dr. Khalifa. I said, I'm very sorry, you are my first messenger and I don't have no experience about it. <laughs> Just forgive me. For and so as for all of us, it's no problem. We just don't know, but that doesn't mean that we just have to keep following whatever we have been doing. Now, God said on 24.62, the true believers are those who believe in God and His messenger, and when they are with Him in a community meeting, they do not leave Him without permission. Again, God says exactly the same thing. Those who ask your permission are the ones who do not believe in God, who, I'm sorry, who do believe in God and His messenger. He put the God and His messenger first sentence and then get the permission and then the second sentence he says these are the ones that believe in God and His messenger. That means that this is very, very crucial and important. And just from this, this verse, we get 
millions of things about the how to treat the message. It's just completely different with them, with anyone else in this earth. Uh, my brother Mahmoud uh, just mentioned to me verse 7, Surah 731. God says, O children of Adam, you shall be clean and dress nicely when you go into the mosque. You shall eat and drink moderately, God does not love except. Now, please again, brothers, sisters, just, I love you. That's why I'm talking about you. If there was someone outside, I would not. I would tell my children, I would tell my mom, because I care about um, please, when you come in, freedom is a beautiful word. But when you are in a group, when you are in a society, when you are in, a, in this community, it's completely freedom. But being, having a respect is different. So please, I want to ask you, I love you, especially the ones, I, I know they have the same feeling about me too, but this is the word of God. Please do not lay down. We have the, I know for some of us it's very uncomfortable to sit down, but believe me, it's very uncomfortable in the healthy. You will just have, it's only two hours. And you are, if you are asleep, you sleep, you sleep at home, and come later. I mean, this, this is, you know, it, it, it's not bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't get mad at me, because uh, we all, it, it does not, we don't know it. We just do not know the things. We think, if you go to a class, do you uh, lay down and make a position like you are in a Hollywood and they take a movie? Do <laughs> you just sit down properly? The teacher is over there. We have to follow. We live in back home. We could never, ever put our food on the, on the top of the table. Every time we put it down. So these are the rules. Please, this is we learn it from each other, from the society, from God, especially for people God that we have to follow for especially for our message. And also something else I want to keep as the parent. Believe me, if you are in that room, if one child, one from here to there, is like an earthquake over there. <laughs> Believe me, I, I was there two days ago, in the afternoon, there was no one in the office, I was taking care of a uh, Ahmad's uh, children, beautiful, but they just went to get a pillow, bring it back over here too. And they slept, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, as soon as they run over there, it's, I don't know what happened, the reaction over there is just like an earthquake. Now, Friday night, Rasulullah, Susan, Lisa, Emily, they are here, they work 19, 20 hours a day. They need the rest. Now, after this class meeting, everybody, every, all the kids, they get up, they bring the pillows, they have fun over there. Please take care of it. Please let them, you know, have a quiet and down. Uh, please, Last time I forgot all my notes, and this today I have everything from the last. Uh, the other point, the subject that I want to talk about is, it's about ego, the ego as a God. Have you know that the one whose God is his ego, as he can be God sent in astray, knowingly, and steals his hearing and his mind, and places a veil on his eyes, who then can guide you after such a decision by God? Would you not take heed? Please, this is, this is a very, very sensitive point, very sensitive uh, action that mm, most of the time, knowing, without knowing it, we just pass through it, then later on we find out about it, then we're going to be sorry about it. The 
other point is author that is the word they call it intelligent, smart, entrepreneur, so and so, genius, whatever. This is not displaced word. This is not God's word. The only intelligence of God is repeated in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, 16, 17, 16, 16, 17. <laughs> About 18 verses that I could have find, the God calls intelligence only to the one who is living God and follow God's system. That's it. God does, he doesn't care. If you are real estate, you make billions of dollars, good for you, if you are genius, good for your parents, that's fine. But when you come to this matter, please, as you take off your shoes, please take off your ego. They thought you were genius. Hang it on a tree and come in. I'm just telling you as a friend, because I try my best to do it. And believe me, every night when I go home, I repent and I ask God, if I did something right today, please forgive me. I ask God for four months to be here in this matter, to be close to his matter, and I have the right to answer. But now I'm just going by the rules that, please God, if I make something, some mistake, please let me know. So if someone tells you this and that, this is because you are brothers, you are sisters, and I really appreciate the ladies, they, we just, we men have to learn from it, we become a gentleman, because I haven't seen any ladies who lay down or, I just love. I don't love. Allah Akbar. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah ar-Rabbil Alamin. Ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Maliki al-Mawlidi. Ya Kanabu wa Ya Kanasain. اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين انعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين الله اكبر سمي الله كل من Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Alhamdulillah ar-Rabbil Alameen, ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Maliki Allah Mutin, Iyya Kanabudu wa Iyya Kanasain, Ihdina Sirat al-Muttaqin, Sirat al-Nabina Anamta Alayhim, Qaidun Ma'fuzi Alayhim Malak Ta'awli. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. This reminded me of my teacher in my grade school. Shut up. Put your intelligence outside and come in and listen to what I tell you and what God is telling you. We are intelligent people. We have, I tell my friend that who's, you are just a newcomer. Sit down, listen. This system is working. If you want to make changes, don't push it. Don't ask us to change everything in overnight and go to a system that is all the religious establishment outside is like that. You go to any religious establishment, you can't see the guy. Whoever it is, you have to go through steps to see the person. If you want to create that, we have it outside. We don't have to come here. I, I 
don't agree with 99% of what he said personally, and I would love to hear a shot, I usually call him Dr. Khalifa, to come out and say whether he really believes that this is the system he wants. I don't object to Quran. I, I can sit down and, li and read Quran and follow it and see whether I am doing something wrong. But if I come here and I see Khalifa, Dr. Khalifa is available to me, this is something that people see different from others. I'm not saying that I can be something and you see me treating him or calling him. But other things that you put your intelligence outside and come in, that is asking me to be a follower, close heads, eyes closed, ear closed, and just call him. No, this is not right. You cannot. Ego, yes. I, I say evil, yes, but intelligence, this is what God gave to me and to everyone to do that. So we'll, when I we'll, discuss it, we'll discuss it tonight. In the, there's very good reasons for saying what you said, and uh, like Susan says, we only read Quran. So together we're going to read this, and uh, our choice is yeah, to follow yeah, what God is saying. Yeah, we would love to hear what you have to say, but if you want yeah, to put the Quranic we'll, uh, study to discuss it, that would be great. I'll we'll discuss I'm it about ten minutes. I'm not making the room. I just read it from the room. Nowhere in the Quran doesn't say... Don't call his name. We call Muhammad with his name. We call Moses with his name. No, no, it's not true. It's not true. That's a challenge. I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad. But we, call, the Quran. we shouldn't say that yes. Muhammad only by itself. We shouldn't say Moses by itself. We shouldn't make distinction between them. They're, they're not here. They're not here. Because I will discuss it. Respect. I will discuss it tonight. But even if you hear the outside, you stay with the top. You can't. If you have any ego, don't come in. You stay with the top. I want to discuss the subject because so I'm not discussing it. I'm going to insist on it. So the human being is a hardcore criminal. And we have to know that. In order to solve our problems, obviously we have a problem that caused our dismissal from God's kingdom. Not once or twice, but a few times. And then the God gives us lessons in the Quran to teach us that we are rebels. Uh, otherwise, why, why does God put in the Quran those lessons, those uh, examples from life? The biggest surah in the Quran, the longest surah, is entitled the heaven, even though it's a surah that is full of uh, all the five so-called pillars of Islam are in surah number two. The order to pray, the orders to fast Ramadan, the orders to uh, give zakat, the orders to make pilgrimage. The rules of marriage, divorce, war, they're all in Surah number 2. But the title indicates the importance of the, of the subject that is within every Surah. And God shows the title, the heifer. So what is the heifer? The heifer symbolizes the people who, uh, who are with the messenger, but they are rebels. And they give the messenger a hell of a time. This is what the heifer is all about. So if we are fortunate, we will learn from this. And we will catch our rebellious nature and correct it in order to be redeemed back to God's kingdom. To, to get rid of the rebellion. And to correct it. Moses told his people, God orders you to sacrifice a heifer. So what did they do? He said, are you kidding? He said, I seek refuge in God, lest I be that, uh, that ignorant. And you know the rest of the story. I'm not going to tell you the story of the heifer again. But the, why is God putting it there? Why God is putting so much importance on it? 
and giving the name of the, the title of the surah from that incident. Why? It's for us to learn. The same story happened this afternoon. Very similar story. And the fortunate ones are the ones who learn from their, their uh, God-given lesson. I mean, we, we love each other very much and uh, we know that we are in the, in the purification process. We're being purified. I love Hamid very much. I don't know if he's here or not. But uh, today, uh, he, uh, after the discussion with some people about uh, the way he was dressed, he was dressed in a short and uh, uh, sweatshirt. And then they asked me, what does God say about dressing for the, for the mask, for the message? I said, there are two things in the Quran. One of them says, dress up for the, for the mask. And one says, uh, uh, dress modestly. <clears throat> okay, so God says, it's like, God says, sacrifice a heifer. God says, dress up for the mask. So what did he say? He said, uh, how do you dress up for the mask? <laughs> it's the same answer that was given to Moses, right? We are human beings. Those were human beings, and these are human beings. You know, we're applying for a job in God's kingdom. This is what we're trying to, we're trying to go back. And we are applying for a job. So if you, if you are, uh, have an interview, Raza, how will you dress? Will you go in a sword and slippers? Of course, uh, we don't want to be that formal, but I mean, we have to be reasonable. So, uh, I, I had to explain how do you, how you dress up for a, for a mask. God says, Ya Bani Adam, Afrodo Zinatakum, and the Kulli Masjid. Says, oh, children of Adam, dress up is a good, is a good translation for that. Every time you go to the mosque, uh, why? Why is God telling us to dress up every every time you go to the mosque? I mean, does is God? Uh, See, finicky? What? I mean, what, what, what? Why is he telling us to dress up for the mask? How would you like it to go to the mask and find that everybody is, uh, looks terrible and stinks? <laughs> how, how will, uh, what, what will happen? I mean, if, if this is what, uh, what we'll do? We're not following God's command. So, we have to learn from uh, our lessons that God has given us. There are reasons for calling it the heifer and emphasizing this story and uh, over and over and over throughout, uh, throughout we see the children of Israel, the story of the children of Israel. Believe me, it's happening. Everything they did is why God put the children of Israel in the Quran. Because we are doing the same things. And these are God's chosen people. What color is she? These are God's chosen people. We're not talking about the, the rebels of the rebels. We're talking the chosen ones among the rebels. So with this introduction, I'm going to uh, uh, have see how we, all of us collectively, feel about this glory.
And, you know, we also need to make sure nobody gets constipated or anything. And this is just as many times that the first class of care is finally brought out that my opinion is just as important, you know, as it is for women. And, you know, very distracting and sometimes it's really hard to concentrate. So, that address to both the men and the women to subdue their eyes, both of them. Uh, so, uh, God wants us to uh, help each other in this way. In that. Uh, that's, that's to speak loud. <laughs> Did I think the same thing that Lori is saying? Oh. <laughs> right. They can be distracted as well. Uh, 
that would rather said we shouldn't call him by his name as a Rashad, which there is a mistranslation of verse 2463, which could it please open it? 2463. It doesn't say don't call him by name like you each other. Don't take his invitation, his request like your invitation because he is later his messenger of God, you must obey him. But in respect of calling him with name, it is human being like us, and all messenger has been called with their name, and even now we call Muhammad as Muhammad, Moses as Moses. God says they are human being like you. Which what kind of difference God show us which respect if they are different we must respect and which respect they are like us. They are walking in the city, they eat like us. This is not what which is a, a, a mistranslated. Do not treat the messenger's requests as you treat each other's requests. And also in the content, if you look, some people, they do not take serious the invitation of the messenger, and they are waiting. And the second point is, we shouldn't discuss with him, brother said. Why? Doesn't he make mistakes? Only God doesn't make mistakes. What about verses 6 to 12? What about that verse 6 to 12? Here, from Hadith, Quran, Hadith, and Islam, the verse 6 to 12, the title is Obeying the Messenger is Condition on the Line. Nor disobey you when you are right. That means believers sometimes they may see something wrong and they can criticize. Even they can that time they can they can disobey. This is condition. Sixty and twelve. What chapter? Chapter sixteen. Verse 12. 16. Yes, 6 Yes. Here, in this book, it is underlined, not disobey you, not disobey you, messenger, when you are right. Or in your translation, maybe righteous command. Obey the messenger is condition. What is the condition? God says, anything good that happens to you, is from God, and anything bad that happens to you is from you. That messenger, like human, they make mistakes, and this is not from God, these are from themselves, and God may change later for you there. Is it okay to discuss with the There are some differences between discussion and urgency. And what would happen? I'm coming to the subject. Thank you. Really, you are right. I'm coming to the subject. What about verse 3, in chapter 3, verse 159? God said, Messenger must consult people around him. This is duty of messenger. And if people around him are zero, they have no idea. They don't, frankly, they don't say their idea, they are only they just messenger whatever he said, okay, except true. Messenger one plus zero is what? Messenger says twelve, twelve, twelve plus zero is twelve. Six, messenger says six, he says zero. <laughs> six plus zero is six. There is no change. What is the reason of consultation of messenger with believer? According to Quran, believer has also personality. They have all the idea. They are not school people. Wow. Wow. MashaAllah, congratulations. It works. It works. Come here. Don't go over there. Come here. The other point, we must, uh, one lady, one sincere lady, believer, because of uh, last week we had discussion with Rashad, I and Ismail Barakah, 
read it according to Quran, we made a mistake and I repent it because of it. But I will tell you something which is more important than this mistake. More important than this mistake, but we forget this. Some, uh, we, we want to cover the subject. Why a person shout? Every shouting person are not the same. If you punch and comes here shot because he's uh, risky. So God needs to end it. For other things. Thirdly, third verse, God is the Alpha. When Awal were up, it is the beginning. And also this verse 27, 3. And other words, God is the creator, is the creator of everything. <coughs> there are many verses about this, for example, 13, 16. God didn't create, he did not create, or did not create, Hydrogen. <laughs> Hydrogen. <laughs> Wait. Wait. That discussion we made. Who said? Who said all those black? This that who said and you accept. <laughs> that so I said. I asked some questions. I said that God is not omnipotent. Excuse me. You you, you hear you heard me say God is not omnipotent. God? No, no, I only, I don't say you do. Yeah, wait, wait, God wait. Is. Does anybody in this room believe that God is not omnipotent? Raise your hand, please. Anyone? I only want to. Wait, wait, hold up. Does anyone in this room believe that God is not omnipotent? He's able to do anything. Does anyone here believe that? Okay, this, the first issue is finished. There's nobody what here who does not believe. The only is, yes. is, can you accept this? There's nobody in this room who believes that God is not omnipotent. So this is finished. What about the, this? God cannot do this, this without this. If you say God cannot do, even if you want, cannot do this. Isn't, isn't this if you re reduce limit God to the condition of omnipotence of God? This can yeah. with itself. You have to go talk to some people who don't believe that God is omnipotent. We all believe God is omnipotent. Okay, can we say God can do whatever he wants? Yes. God can do it. I Thank God. This liberated this problem. Okay. This was the discussion. This was always the case. It was never otherwise. The rest of us that were at the discussion of these didn't take it that way. Go ahead. What was the second point? Okay. Thank God. Yes. I want to be liar. Really, I want to be in this case liar. Because I don't want to make problems. But God knows. God knows everything. Inshallah. Even if the pressure said he must repent. If he doesn't remember, it is better for him. But I remember. I have from my own understanding is about it. Anyway, God needs angels who cannot say this, inshallah. That's correct? Uh, you're missing the point. Uh, let's bring on the subject that we were talking about. Chapter 15, we started from 74 to 78. Mm -hmm. Just read the whole thing. Mm -hmm. We're going to tell you that uh, God turned upside down the city of Lot by the angels. That is God's system. God's system never changed. And yes. that's it. No, no, yes. uh, you want to go into it, no. make us, all you who believe, do not place your opinion above that of God and His Messenger. You shall reverence God, God is here or omniscient. All you who believe, do not raise your voice above the voice of the Prophet. This is the Prophet Muhammad, and it is set as an example for us. Nor shall you shout at Him as you shout at each other. Why is God saying this? Why? He tells us why. He says, lest your works become nullified. Why do you do not perceive? Why will my work be nullified if I shout at the messenger? Or if I raise my opinion above the opinion of the messenger? How will my work be nullified? I pray five times a day. I fast the month of Ramadan. I worship God alone. What God is telling me, if you uh, raise, uh, place your opinion above that of God and the messenger, your works are nullified. How, what is the mechanism of nullifying my works by doing this? Here is the mechanism. Because when I do this to the messenger, and there is an outsider who will come and see this, now the outsider come and sees that one of 
the closest persons to the messengers telling him, you don't believe in God's omnipotence, you don't believe that uh, this and that, so the outsider will leave, okay, and become a disbeliever, for example. If I do this and drive the outsider away, I will carry this person's sins. This is how my works will be nullified. Why, why is God saying this? Is, is God advocating idol worship? Or what? Of course not. So there is a reason for it. But see, you, ha- you see now what the point is. He, uh, Adib came to a certain conclusion and he uh, made an opinion and he didn't want to give it up. And he still doesn't want to give it up. I just, Rashad, so, okay. if this is correct, this is wrong. This is, whatever people you ask, if some person, if any being... Okay, you're still, you're still on number one, so let me go to number one. Yes. He, uh, Adib says that I say that God is not omnipotent. Of course, no, no. I, I never the said that. The second one. The second one. said that God cannot uh, turn Sodom upside down without the angels. Is this what you're saying? Excuse me. If God without wants, angels. He, omnipotent, he, can, he can do. He can do without angels. Okay, then let us look at this. Let's see what God says, and we cannot be more godly than God. I'm going to use uh, an example that is, uh, that is identical. And this, God says that the creation of Jesus is like the creation of Adam, equal to the creation of Adam. We're all familiar with this verse. And then God goes on in the verse and says, I said to him, be, and he was. So this is how God gets things done. God can get anything done by saying be, and it is. Right? Yet, we, we look at the Quran consistently about the creation of Adam. We see that God says, I blew into Adam from my spirit. Because that was up there in the first heaven. Adam was up there, God was up there, and God grew into Adam from his spirit. Now the identical creation of Jesus, God said to Jesus, be and he was. God said, be and he was. But, uh, but God tells us in the Quran, he sent the angel to Mary. Carrying this command. To be. And, and God speaks in the plural. He said, we blew into Mary from our spirit. So, therefore, therefore, God is teaching us that there is a system of be and it is. God, God didn't, didn't just sit up there in the first uh, universe. He said, be and Jesus was. The mechanism was that the angel Gabriel came down to the planet Earth, which cannot stand the physical presence of God. And Gabriel carried that command. And we blew into her from our spirit. So this is the difference. God tells us about the system. Now I cannot say that uh, God said be to Jesus and Jesus was without the intervention of the angel. I cannot say that because it will be a lie. Satan, when Satan failed to stop you from worshiping God, he will push you to the other extreme. He will, he will make you demand of God more than what God himself said. So this is the situation that, uh, that we have here. In other words, God said he sent the angel to create Jesus. And uh, then we say God doesn't need the angel. Well, who am I? Who am I to decide that? God himself told us that uh, he sent the angel with the command. Here's, these are two identical uh, things. And uh, you can, God also said he sent the angels to turn Satan upside down. So I cannot say otherwise. I have to abide by what God said. If God said he sent the angels to turn it upside down, I can't say that God can sit uh, up there and uh, say be and it is upside down. God is teaching us that there is a system, there is a mechanism. But the point that Mehruz was talking about is uh, nullifying our works. And uh, it brings out this very serious uh, idol worship that is idolizing our opinion. We must give up our opinion in favor of God's opinion. God said he sent the angel to blow into Mary from from God's spirit through the mediation of the angel. We have to believe that. Rashad, did I say, please, did I say God didn't send angels? Did I say God doesn't use angels? I only say God uses angels, but it doesn't mean God needs need angels. God has obligation with them. God doesn't need anybody. But God may not select the angels. What did you say now? Maybe it's different. The difference between the word God wants to use the 
angels. Yes. And God, the need. The, God won't, maybe God won't control without angels, but it's not that God cannot. You know what I mean? Like God can do everything, but God has chosen this system. Yes. Okay, we have a linguist. Will use we have a linguist here. What does the different want and need, Master? <laughs> no, I want you to answer this first. Then go on. God wants peace, or God needs peace. Okay, tell us what you think. No, just tell us the difference between need and want. Tell us. Need implies eternity. Once is something that means to have a decision about you, you choose to do one thing as opposed to another. Okay, what's the question? I wasn't here for the original thing, right? I just have this fear that what's happening with the devil is just kind of getting in this inner sphere based on the fungus. The black is that Rashad said. The, okay. the, 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 wait, 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 wait. Is, Rashad, did you say those No. And, 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 God wants all the big people to believe he can do it. Right? Mm-hmm. So there is a difference between me and God. Sure, no, sure. So he can, he, he can want, he can, uh, he can do all of these things without him. But the system specifies angels to do this. Sure, and yes. And to do that and to do that. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what we were saying. I think the whole yeah, problem, the whole problem with everything that's being said is that Everybody in this room believes number one. Everybody does. You don't so believe then, number two. Uh, so then, number two. Like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. So then words, so then verbs like, verbs like we use, can, or need, or has to, they don't, they don't apply. They don't, you just can't, you can't say, like, um, Rashad said. God in a different way, or can do things, or need to do things. These are verbs that you don't apply to God. Okay, it was a discussion, it was a discussion, and many times if you use what can, you can call, Alhamdulillah, Right? You hit the nail on the head. And there are many people here that cannot speak it, and it's his people that he believes are his brothers. No one is turned against it. No one is racing with it. He's making up these things. I am not racing with it. No, none of us over here, we're racing with it. Okay, Rashad. Adib has a severe problem and we're trying to help him. That's all. We are his brothers, we are his brothers and sisters, and we're trying to help him. He has a, he has a real, he has a severe, he has a very severe problem that, uh, that may destroy uh, him. And she heard that you're a shock. Now, uh, the one thing happened, wait, wait, how come if my Barakat does not have any linguistic problem, his English is perfect, he understood it, and he defended, he said, I'm sorry, no, if you all didn't accept it, you, can, you said you cannot use God he cannot the lady. He is. said, I'm sorry. Oh, he does not. He, he is the agent with the shortest sentence. Well, his English is perfect. He, he shouts at everybody. Okay, the man is perfect. Now, Rashad, yeah. one question. There was Why no man. Why do you worry about this brother? You worry about me because I shouted at you because I may misunderstand. I may understand according to what I... No, I worry about you because you worship your opinion okay. to the point now, of... Question. Destroying you. That yeah, Dr. Sabahi wants to say something. Excuse me, only part is not ready. Did you say that God did not create hydrogen? Did you say that they, God is with me? Adib John, you were did telling you me millions yes of no. crazy things you, you brought it from your mind. Rashad didn't want you. Rashad warned me, but you said God cannot create, even create hydrogen. 
Nobody will say that. Nobody will say that. Nobody will say that. You thought he said. You thought he said. The only reason I'm worried about you is because I love you. That created him. I love you and I know you know a lot. I sit over there. I ask you all the answers. No, he did not. I was there. It's a statement in the Quran. Hold it. Okay. Obsession. Obsession. Adib. 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 The rules. There's a statement. Quran says, "Allahu Khalid for all the things." Okay. God is the creator of all things. Everyone believes that. We all believe that. You think he said this? No, he said. He, from his face, you understand he's lying now. No, I'm not lying. You said, you said, you said, God, you, you said, God created everything from nothing. And I said, so if something created from nothing, that must be nothing. That was your reason. What did yes, you say? Did you understand it? So God is nothing. You, you said God is nothing. No, no. See? Come on. It's the same problem. It's the same problem. We can, you can take uh, a statement out of context. I don't understand you. Understand. Okay. It's just a misunderstanding of the word. We all agree that the black things there are not correct. And, and whoever, there's no problem. Want, someone there's here no heard problem. it wrong or used the wrong vocabulary. But we all agree that the black is not right and that the red is in the Quran and it's the right thing. Right. We all agree. That's right. Okay.
think that what is going on in here. Imagine if some, somebody comes in, last week he was sitting next to a judge, he was giving all the opinions, and he was you know, a knowledgeable person, all of a sudden, now we don't even let him talk. Oh, I, don't, uh, I don't support this uh, anger, this uh, excitement, you know, but, you know, but what I'm saying is, if you believe that we are believers here, respect each other, and the God is saying is that, don't dispute them on them. If he some, does something wrong, you have to put it in, sit down, and try to, he's a logical Exactly, that's what we're doing. So, uh, no, I, I tell you the truth. This is not the, the feeling that I get when sitting here for about, uh, 45 minutes. Everybody is, you know, attacking him, and these are people who have seen this up person that day. It is not fair. That's why I, I, I you know, the first time into the group of that because we didn't know what was going on. You come in and you drop the bomb. If something went on, he read the Quran. He read the Quran. No, I agree, but I didn't no, know. That's, okay, let me say something here because we just witnessed the commandment of God being broken, and uh, we. Uh, Whatever you do, your nice words will not fix the wound that has been stabbed with. This is a very nice, very gentle man, and uh, somebody told him you're a liar, and we're all sitting here indifferent. How can we fix his wound now? Do you think it would, uh, everything would be all right? I have one. If you read, read here, let me finish. See what God is saying. What we God is saying, tell my servants, this is 287, tell my servants to treat each other in the best possible manner. For the devil will always try to drive away among them. Surely the devil is man's most ardent enemy. Now I want you to put yourself in Behruz's place, and somebody is calling you a liar. I'm correct. Is this what God is saying? Tell my servants to treat each other in the best possible manner. He's getting deeper and deeper in trouble with God. And, and the, you, what you just read is to advocate righteousness and forbid evil. We cannot sit indifferently and watch a deep Blaspheme against God and, uh, and they hurt one of our people, his brother, in this way. I mean, do you think the Rose will sleep tonight? I mean, do you have any consideration for his feelings? What about my can we just pass it up? Can we, can we pass up uh, the fact that he was called a liar, unjustly, or even justly? So, yes. I think the messenger has some feelings. You are a human being, and he was saying that. Mm-hmm. There is one of the witnesses. <laughs> Excuse me, Rashad. There is no person who does not listen to this conversation. Who? Oh. It's my director. He, he doesn't know whatever I say or what he say. Just let record asking what was the conversation, why he discussed, why he shouted at you like me. Well, first of all, you owe the reason apology because you committed uh, a breaking of the commandment right there. I am ready. I know that now I say and you are here. I know exactly that who said God didn't create hydrogen. I'm sure that my belief. If you, let me just God. Okay, I can, can tell you what God says God. here. Are you ready? Are you ready? That you don't say no. God, don't shout. I'm ready. Don't shout. I'm ready. Don't shout. I'm ready. 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 No, see, I can tell you what God said. Okay? You wanna, you wanna see what God said in the Quran? Okay. You did. It is past seven eight days. None of us saw it. And you didn't show anything. You didn't talk to any of us. Okay? I know he is. Okay. So why? Why? All okay, God said, God said in the why Quran, God? after the people die and they turn into dust and bones, they come back to life. This is ridiculous. This is what God said. Is it true? God said, this is what you're saying, Guru said. Because God is saying in the Quran, I can get, I can show you. God said, after the people die and become dust and bones, do they come back to life? This is ridiculous. So, you think God said that? Right. This is how you are misquoting the rules because we were all there. 
We all know that God created everything. It is not fair to to take uh, something out of context just to defend your opinion. You just wipe out your friends and your brothers with, uh, just to hold your your opinion. You don't want to say you're wrong. Okay, I accept. Ali. Ali. But God knows what happened. But who's but? Ali. Who told you we were whispering? Man, I didn't even look. I didn't understand. I understand. How many times do you think all the great men of our century, the people who stood up for their rights, guys, I mean, the Martin Luther King didn't stand up, what would have happened? You know, if all those people didn't stand up for their rights, what would have happened? He stood up and he thought something was maybe something wrong and he tried to fix it before he got bigger. And I think you guys should be thankful for this man for being here and standing up and saying, No, you got the full love sex. I don't think. I don't think that you should be mad at him. I think if there's yeah, a I'm not No, if there's fault, then what? How do you know it's fault? Oh, there? there are seven people seated over here watching. But also, also, who are all going to be in the wrong house? It means that you can be made one mistake. Seriously, it's taking the wrong house. So we're all doing it. So we're seriously. No excuse. No compromise. That's exactly what he's doing, Alpha Man. This is exactly what he's doing. Idol worship. He's worshiping his opinion. My my estimate uh, of the situation from all the things I learned in my life is that Adif is in a serious, serious trouble. He he idolizes his opinion, and uh, unless he changes, he's gonna go to hell. This is just the summary of the whole thing. His opinion is is uh, has more value than God Himself. This is what uh, we see in Surah 25, uh, forget the verse. Remember? Remember? Uh, do you know the person whose opinion is his God? And in Arabic, which he understands very well, His God right now is his opinion, and I'm hoping that he will snap out of it someday and, uh, and uh, give in to God's opinion. This is what was happening. That was also that kind of weakness or conversation. He was, he is a sincere believer also. Why not ask him for ask About what? Ask him for ask He's suffering now because there is something which Russia is not here. Ask him. Ask him. Ask him. Ask him. Ask him. No, no. What happened? Did somebody say God cannot control this? Did somebody say God didn't create him online? Let us this guy. What did God say after, after we die? We, we resurrected if this I is ridiculous. If I am my miracles in not in my life, please ask him if my death is my miracles. What happened? He will say exactly what I said. There is a proof. <laughs> yes, I read the fact. Maybe you heard it wrong and you were... If, if my miracles are wrong... At least now we know that that, that second... That God did create hydrogen. I'm happy. If I agree, if I am happy, I accept that they did make me say now they return. The Hebrews never said God did not create hydrogen. The Hebrews never said that. Edip uh, thought that Behruz said that. Why did he Edip well, misunderstood that? what uh, Behruz is saying. It's simple as that. Okay. Nobody. Well, the Russia, the, 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 what? I was just next to him. You were there, Russia. You cannot uh, witness my Yes. Right? Well, <laughs> listen. <laughs> I don't have. I don't I really. I really don't have to be there to know that Behruz will never say God did not create hydros. <laughs> uh, Dr. Sabah. Yes, uh, I think you are making a big mistake because you are speaking to some agents the way you try. You don't give even a, a one part per million or billion chance that you may be wrong or you may have to exactly. hurt it wrong or say that you have been your case. Exactly. And uh, if, if you take more and more into it, it's going to turn ugly because you want him to say that he is he, 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 he dead so that you will be Right. And he is saying that he feels safe. And he feels like he gives up. Listen, and listen. You say that and then again you can Right. <laughs> exactly. And you start going. But I think you have to seriously, all of us have to seriously 
you think about this and analyze the situation, yes. and if you really, really deep down believe that God is the omnipotent, then He's going to take care of you. If somebody is doing something wrong, if something, if something has wrong to me, He's going to be exposed. If you exactly. believe that God is capable of it. So we don't have to take it in our hands. So let it drop. You can, you know, cool down, get your work, <coughs> and let's, uh, no, you can, you can discuss the issue, discuss it, find the problem, but you cannot find the guilty pieces of the court. Exactly. You cannot find someone, you let God take care of it. Because things are clear, the things that you were worried about, that God is not omnipotent, I can't do the thing. So, yes, I was surprised that you brought that up. Because from what I understand, this is not the case here. Yes, I, sometimes you may hear something, I wait, and then say, oh, I made a mistake in here. Or somebody made a mistake. Let them correct themselves. But you are asking too much now. We want someone to come out and say, I made this mistake, I'm, I'm sorry, you are right. No, it's not going to happen. And uh, another thing I want to say. Allah, wait, I have to. Uh, I have to compliment you for you. You you found out exactly what the problem is, and uh, you just you put it really better than anyone can can possibly uh, put it. Uh, were, were you were you talking? Uh, excuse me. Uh, I want to tell Afan that we all love it, and all over the world they know at least he's knowledgeable. We appreciate it, and I appreciate it myself because I sit there. And he is not knowledge, okay? <laughs> and believe me, I suggested to Mahmoud and Concession from the day that happened that this guy, guys, please let's sit down and talk to him. But God is with him. That was not a day that we could have given, you know, by himself. We were here, we didn't want to talk to him in front of you, and we were all wanted to talk to him three of us together because if someone talked to him, all the things he says, he says no. Whatever you say, he says no. And then it takes him three days and a half, I found out, that say, okay, you're right. But us, me to him, I'm just a student. I don't know nothing. Okay, now, see, this is the impression everybody's getting. Everybody to him, he does, everybody does not understand but him. Okay, thanks. Now we try to help him. It's three days in a row, we try to get him in the corner. Hey, this is it, brother. We are worried about you. Let's repent and forget about it. And there were seven people witnessed in that day. I'm not taking sides. I'm not politician. If I was, I wouldn't be here. I would have a beautiful job and was making a lot of money like the others are doing. I'm not the smart outside. I'm just, my heart is very open. You will find out later on. And I think this is the reason that I'm here. And this is the reason he's here. But when you get over here, you want to say, hey, I'm this and that, you're going to lose it. And this is what's going to happen. It's going to happen. But we we'll care about him. We don't want this to happen to him. And I'm sure as much as us, you worry about him more. And so as not And other I friends. Wife, and I have never seen that with him with him. Because you're his wife. Right. I don't see the one. I the one. And he follows me. Yes. That's the love. But the love between you and him. To you it is. If I was his wife, he would be humble. <laughs> <laughs> this, 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 this is different. This is different. Okay. But to him and me and us sitting over here, we are not proving anything that I'm a smart, you're a smart. No. I'm God. Well, unfortunately, okay, it's the same question everybody okay. is getting. Okay. Okay. Let's, see. Let's see what God is saying. Let's see what God is saying. Wait, uh, Mark, wait. Let, let's, let's, see, let's see what God is saying. I want to reiterate what the Ruth said that you, we all love Adib. We're trying to step him out of it. He's in deep, deep trouble. Satan, remember Satan believed in God. Satan knew God. But he was kicked out of God's kingdom because of ego. We read in, uh, in page 465, verse 65, Surah 39, it has been revealed to you. Now this means every messenger. And to those before you, every messenger, that if you ever commit idol worship, all your works will be nullified, and you will be with the losers. 
So, so idolized one's opinion is stated in the Quran as idol worship. It's stated very clearly. Idolized one's opinion means you hold fast to it, just like Dr. Sabah has spotted it. And, uh, and, and uh, nothing will stand in you, nothing will stand in the way of your opinion. You just hold fast. This is, this is idol worship. Everybody knows Adip is a believer. Everybody knows Adip is knowledgeable. Uh, everybody knows he's sincere. But the danger he's in now is that he may fall into this 65. He may nullify on his word. We have to remember that Satan believed in God. And out of love for all of us, we are, we are trying to help him. In fact, they made a committee, the Ruz, Mahtasham, and Mahmoud, and they won't talk to him to, to help him. Not to attack him. The Dr. Masoud is trying to talk for a long time. One of the side attractions at this place, I call it side attraction, because the main attraction here for me is the God's word, God's message. The side attraction for me here was the closeness, the family atmosphere that I saw with it. You know, being from Iran, being a Shia, a Shia that state of us, I haven't seen anything like this, and this was very, very attractive for me. I brought all my family here. But what I saw today in the Qutra, and what I saw today here, is completely different from what I have been thinking during this past few months and coming over here. You taught me that the prophet is a human. I did never, really never thought that prophet was human. I thought prophet was walking with a halo you know, over his head. You couldn't see his face, all the things. I came over here and I saw that prophet is somebody like me yes, and somebody yes. like you. We can talk, we can go and ask him questions. This but will never change. Like this will never this change. Is really, really <laughs> disappointing. What do you think Bahrus said and what do you think uh, should be done? I cannot judge on that because I don't know really, I cannot retract it, you know, what happened over there. So I'm not going, I'm going to leave these two <coughs> together. But we are going to go back to the community that started survival. We are going to love each other. We are going yes. to respect each other. And we are going to apologize for each other, every one of us, with what happened here over here today and what we are thinking about here. Right That's exactly what Behruz was calling for. He doesn't want, he wants to follow what, the, what God is saying, to ensure that we are a family. Because God says the believers are a family. Like this. It's so Surah 39, verse 18. God says, they are the ones who examine all words and follow the best. These are the ones whom God has guided. These are the ones who possess intelligence. And I think that one of the things that Satan is doing here is that he's making people feel that their words are better than someone else's. And what we're supposed to do is that whenever we discuss anything or follow the messenger of God, what have you, the ultimate is always God's word. Another verse in the Quran is in Surah 58, verse 10. And it says, seek a conspiracy with the devil's idea through which he seeks to hurt those who believe. He seeks to hurt those who believe. However, he cannot hurt them against God's will and God's believers shall trust. And I think we all should remember that God says in the Quran that he's aware of the animal's thoughts and he will cause to come forth in us all of our weaknesses. That he will bring out our weaknesses according to his will, and that when these weaknesses come out, if we are really sincere, and we wish of God alone, we will pray to Allah of faith in ourselves, and we will follow what is best. We will follow and examine the words and follow what is, what is best, and we will not try to defend our own weaknesses and our own opinions and our own words. Because I, I think all of us here, and God knows this, this is an extremely critical time. Not just this situation, but in a very short time, and I think all of us feel this, the miracle in the Quran, in the awareness that the Rashad is a messenger of the covenant, is going to spread like wildfire. It is going to spread like wildfire. It's almost as if we are on the verge of major events that until the family has to be prepared. Satan doesn't like it. When you know that people are coming to your house, what do you do? You run and pick up the trash and straighten up and try to make it look good. We have to be prepared for what is about to take place. 
الحمد لله. Let us now turn to God and ask Him. God never turns us down. We're going to recite Al-Fatiha. That He may keep us all in His path. Not a single one in this place. Not a single one is to, to, to be driven away from the path of God. So we'll leave it in God's hand. He's the only one who can solve our problems. Al-Fatiha. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Maliki yawm al-Din. إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين. Our teacher tonight is Apame and we're at the verse. What is the verse? We're at the verse number what? 866 verse 130. Do you have any comments? I have a good comment. Well, in concept, we're using 